Africa's ever-growing cities have distinct personalities, and some of them remind me of cities back home in America. One great city, in my view, can even lay claim to the title of the New York of the continent. Here is my American map of Africa. Ah, Cape Town. This is the African city whose American counterpart just leaps out at you. Gorgeous ocean setting, food, culture, and of course those wineries out to the east. Entrepreneurs aplenty with a splash of high tech. Amazon, the American online retail giant, is setting up its African headquarters in Cape Town. And Cape Town's American sibling? Well, that would be San Francisco with the Golden Gate Bridge, a cinematic setting by the bay, and the famous wine country of the Napa Valley about an hour to the north. And to the south, the giants of Silicon Valley. To me, Nairobi's American equivalent is a no-brainer. Both cities are all business, full of hustling entrepreneurs, land deals, and fast money. Nairobi and its sibling are sprawling with cars and trucks racing everywhere. Where are y'all going in such a hurry anyway? That's right, Nairobi is the ATL of Africa. Like Atlanta, Nairobi is not a walking city, although Atlanta is trying to change that with the pedestrian Beltline Loop. Check it out. Atlanta is, of course, the home of Coca-Cola, CNN, and Scarlett O'Hara while Nairobi roars with Simba and Safari. And like Atlanta, Nairobi features forests, though concrete is fast taking root. And I love this. Each of these cities is about five hours travel time from the beach. In fact, two of my favorite stretches of beach in all of the world. From Atlanta, the sea islands of Georgia and the low country of South Carolina. From Nairobi, the lovely Swahili coast of Kenya. Karabuni, Indian Ocean. Coming up with an American counterpart for Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, the home of the African Union, and my home for four years in the past, it was actually kind of tough. But ultimately, I decided there were two factors that stood out. Altitude and airplanes. You see, Addis is Africa's global aviation hub as the base of Ethiopian Airlines, Africa's biggest carrier. It's also among the highest capital cities in the world, and it's by far the highest major city in Africa. As cities go, Addis is relatively new, only about 130 years old, so there's a frontier feel about the place. What city in America matches up? Well, cowboy, that would be Denver, the frontier hub of the West, the gateway to the Rocky Mountains, and America's mile-high city. Addis is half again as high, reaching 8,000 feet in altitude at the north side of town near the Intoto Hills, where I used to work. But what also ties these cities together is the buzz of big aircraft. Denver is the world's seventh busiest airport, a hub for United Airlines. And I know what you're going to say. Addis is the diplomatic capital of Africa. What do you mean Denver? Okay, true. So maybe a bit of Washington or New York in the mix. I'll give you that. Next, we head west for tropical weather, a location near an oceanic gulf, Mega development everywhere, and oil as the main driver of the economy. That's Lagos and Houston, Texas. These are Boomtown Brothers. Lagos is a city of lagoons and islands. Houston is a city built on marshes and swamps. And the folks that live in these places, well, let's just say that Lagos and Houston are capitals of swagger. Nigeria and Texas both think big, talk big, and do big things. And the talk is often business deals and riding the next boom. So which city in Africa could measure up to the Big Apple, New York City? I had to think long and hard about this one because to be crowned the New York of Africa, that's a tall order. A great crossroads city of the world, brash, busy, a magnet for writers and artists, a place of great ideas, architecture, food, history, and power. In my travels in Africa, only one city matches up a place that Arab conquerors called al kahira victorious, but Americans call Cairo. This was the first place I visited outside America, so it holds a special place in my travel history. Now Cairo is reinventing itself. Africa's tallest building, Iconic Tower, is rising in the new Cairo, 35 kilometers east of the ancient city 
an estimated $45 billion project in very New York. That's my American map of Africa. What's on your map? Leave a like, leave a comment, or leave a grumble. And as you're going, leave in a promising direction.